Its unique ability to capture insects makes the Venus flytrap plant popular with kids and adults. But it's our fascination with this rare carnivorous plant that also makes it a tempting target for poachers. People mistakenly think if they find a patch they can harvest the entire patch, take them home and make money. Um, that's not really the case. You can, you can buy Venus flytraps now in, in any of the, the big box stores. The only place in the world where the Venus flytrap is found in the wild is within a small stretch of coastal North and South Carolina, including Orde County. Dr. Lucan says there may be three to four thousand of the plants growing here. To discourage poachers, we will not reveal this location. Dr. Lucan says the Venus flytrap is not officially listed as endangered, but probably should be. And the population is small enough that the loss of just a few plants can be quite serious. A poaching event that removes um, an entire small population can really have a big impact on the, the sustainability and the viability of the entire population. For Dr. Lucan, who's been studying the plants for 10 years, spotting a potential poaching incident is pretty easy, and this little hole may be a sign of one of them. It basically leaves a, a little divot in the, uh, in the organic soil, and uh, you can, uh, it looks very different than animal digging or anything like that. And it's not just poaching that's a problem. Housing and commercial development threatens the plant's habitat, too. Still, Dr. Lucan is optimistic about the Venus flytrap's long-term survival if the few places where it still exists are properly maintained. In Horry County, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.